Planet Dolan. From pseudo-romantic dinners to questionable cakes, we count 10 ridiculous Valentine's Day fails. Hey there, I'm Hellbent. I'm here to learn you suspiciously amazing facts that I didn't just make up. Number 10. Ah, Valentine's Day. The time of year of romantic dinners and cheesy lines written on greeting cards. This person decided to forgo a greeting card and possibly romantic dinner and just write the cheesy love line on the inside of a box of chicken nuggets. Though I do know a few people who would much rather have McNuggets than a greeting card, this entire idea would still probably make a few people groan and roll their eyes. Hey, for some, it might even be putting across a message, Hey, Porkins, I know you love some fatty fried treats. Have some nuggies. I show my affection for you and fatty fried treats because that's all you think about, you fat piece of shit. Number 9. A large part of Valentine's Day is telling your loved one just how much you love and care about them. It's an important time to put your writing skills to the test and make sure you put in every single letter that you mean to write. For example, don't use abbreviations. Write out the entire word, every single one of them. You're probably thinking that sounds a little bit specific. Well, take a look at this cake. A message like enjoy your VD on Valentine's Day is obviously a Valentine's Day reference, but what do people often do on Valentine's Day? Well, they've been known to, you know, get busy. Actually, you've probably been getting busy with that person since before Valentine's Day, so getting a cake that says enjoy your VD is kinda ominous. In fact, I'm not even putting my mouth near a cake that says VD on it. It could be the cake that has the VD for all I know. Though it's probably innocent, I'd still take a trip over to the clinic to get tested after seeing something like this. And in case you're one of those people who doesn't know what VD stands for, I'll just read it out for you. Enjoy your venereal disease. Number 8. Alright, your spouse treated you to a chicken nugget dinner and ordered you a herpes cake. The line has to be drawn somewhere. Looks like we still haven't crossed that line yet. Well, if you're signing divorce papers instead of a greeting card, you're gonna need a good lawyer. Well, if you live around Vancouver, how about Fred C. Lothar? People do get dumped a lot on Valentine's Day, and old Fred here seems to know his business pretty good, so hey, what do you gotta lose? Outside of your significant other, I guess. But this might be a bit of a pick-me-up for the single folks out there. I mean, hey, uh, might be completely alone, but at least you're not losing half your stuff. Number 7. Asking your spouse for a divorce on Valentine's Day might create a psycho, and that psycho might just become a stalker. If you happen to be such a stalker and it's Valentine's Day, then, believe it or not, there's a greeting card that you can give to the person who you believe is your soulmate. The front of the card reads, Stalker is a harsh word. When the card is opened, it reads, I prefer Valentine. While it's obviously a joke, with the kind of people that exist out there, I find it hard to believe that somebody didn't take this card very seriously. Crazy people aside, I still wouldn't count on this card netting you that sweet girl next door. Might get you a restraining order, though. Maybe old Fred could help you out on that. Number 6. One of the things couples do on Valentine's Day is have a romantic dinner. They usually take place at a big fancy restaurant to mark the occasion. But times are tough, and going out to La Ravage isn't always an option. And from the looks of things, going to White Castle isn't always an option either, because they're taking reservations. I can see why it's popular. Some people just like the simple things, or maybe they prefer french fries and a burger over a big steak dinner. But I think the subtle yet brutal fail here is that they're taking reservations, which means they might run out of room. You botch things up pretty badly if you promised your girl White Castle on Valentine's and couldn't even provide that. Or even worse, promise your girl you're taking her to the fanciest restaurant in town, she gets all dressed up and ready to be wined and dined, and you pull up to White Castle. It's kind of a cute idea, and I can see why it's popular, but there's so many ways this could go wrong. Just follow the sign's advice, get your reservation, and make sure she knows you're going to White Castle. Don't surprise her with this. Just a little VD tip from your local love guru, Hellbent. Number 5. Another Valentine's Day fail straight from the bakery, and it also has to do with sex. This time, it's frosted cupcakes arranged to form a heart with true love written in white lettering. 
Looking pretty romantic outside of that giant blue cock on top of them. I don't know what that's about. Maybe it's just my eyes seeing that. I mean, I am a pervert. Maybe it's a sword protecting his love or Cupid's arrow or a, a big blue dick. It's a big blue dick. Look, I'm doing the best I can to rationalize this, but I don't know about any kind of big blue Valentine's Day love sword, and that's definitely not Cupid's arrow. Maybe it's a sequel to the VD cake, you know, a year later. Love knows no bounds. And again, just like the VD cake from earlier, I'm not putting my mouth anywhere near that thing. Number four. Last bait good on this list, I promise, but a clean one was necessary after the last two filthy ones. Here we have a large, delicious, frosted cookie. The hearts look like normal hearts, and the colors are appropriate. Everything looks normal until you read what was written in the center. Instead of be mine, it's be mime. Hey, maybe it isn't a fail after all. Maybe it was for two mimes and they were in love. Waste of money if you ask me. They could just mime out a little heart cookie, no problem. Man, you could save so much money dating a mime. Number three. A lot of women dream of their men popping the question on Valentine's Day. Lucky for them, some men do. But other men may give their girlfriends a different kind of ring. No, not a phone call. And no, not that other kind of ring you may be thinking about, you pervert. This is the kind of ring that might make their girlfriends ring their necks. Oh, I get it. Ring. Ring their necks. Thank you, Derek. Thank you so much. Puns aside, and to the point, it's a coffee mug, but there's more to it. The mug comes in a black box, similar to where a ring, including an engagement ring, might be found. When the lid is open, the unlucky Valentine may see a beautiful ring, only to pull it out and find that it's really a handle to a coffee mug. That's right, a coffee mug that you hold by slipping your ring finger on the handle. If your goal on Valentine's Day is to crush your partner's dreams, this actually might be a good gift, but I wouldn't recommend it for anybody making a serious attempt at romance. Number two. If you couldn't snag that reservation at White Castle, you might consider a quiet night at home. You know what I mean, set the mood, have a nice home-cooked meal, pop in a movie, and cuddle on the couch with your sweetheart. But, you know, if you're gonna take that route, make sure the movie is something romantic or maybe something a little bit lighthearted, maybe even a comedy. Movie selection is important. For example, if you choose a slasher flick and you're not dating one of those weird chicks who's into stabby stabby films, you're probably not gonna get too far. While the store didn't suggest a slasher film as a possible option for Valentine's Day movie night, they still failed to double check what movies were being stocked in the display. Apparently, the movie Unfaithful, starring Richard Gere, can get any couple in the mood. Sure, the movie has romance, but the theme is infidelity. Not something I'd put on to kick off a romantic mood. That's more the kind of thing I'd show if I thought they were cheating on me. Hell, you'd be better off watching awful countdown videos together. Number one. Valentine's Day doesn't always equate to romance or sex, so it's not unusual for a man to get his mom a card or for a woman to get her dad a card on Valentine's Day. This store either didn't know that or had some pretty perverted people working there. On a shelf, there's a sign in the shape of a heart that reads, Share the love with your dad. And on the shelf above it are a variety of condoms and lube. Then below that are what appear to be bottles of wine. I really hope the person who took this picture just took that sign off of another shelf and slapped it there as a gag. If that's the case, good job giving people disturbing visuals about their fathers. Now they might have to arrange a date with their psychiatrist on Valentine's Day. Today's question is kind of related. What's the worst way you found out that you no longer have a romantic partner? And you can interpret that question however you want. Tell us your stories in the Reddit page linked below and you might be featured in a future countdown. And that's all I got for now. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. If you happen to be such a stalker and it's Valentine's Day, then believe it or not, there's actually a greeting card that you can give to the person that you want to crush. I mean, have a crush on.